another vlog. So today, me and Mona, we were just walking to the lagoon and we saw this place. It's something monkeys. Do you know what the place is called? It's a really cute little place and I ordered myself something very interesting. It's called Vietnamese coffee. I've never been to Vietnam yet, so um, never had that. So the concept is there's milk on the bottom and the coffee is dripping from here. So you very dripping drinks. Thank you so much. So after the water's done, just take this down. Come. Put it like this yeah. because it's pretty. Dude, it's full it all away. Oh, you have to mix it? Yeah. Yes. Otherwise, you have the milk at the end. Yeah. I don't think you will like that. That's interesting. Looks nice. It looks like a latte. He said that it's gonna taste like a very coffee. But it's less coffee. Yeah. That's a fancy spoon. Fancy spoon. I should be drinking like this. I have no idea what's happening over there. It smells like coffee. It is coffee. Very sweet coffee. I've had, I think, something like different. this. Yeah, it, it is different. different. I like it. This is Ken. So cute. That's cool. That's in Austria. I went there. This little buddy is not really poisonous. It's called a green jumping spider. If it bit me, it would be really painful. It was just sitting on me and on my phone. It really liked it. Hello, dear vlog. Hello. We are in Cairns. Obviously. <laughs> We're by the docks right now, and this is the view. It's pretty amazing and chill, and somebody's singing Titanic mm -hmm. over there. And it's actually not bad, so. It looks pretty amazing and very, very peaceful. Yeah. And there's fish throwing itself out. Do you not see that? No, I don't. Oh, look at that. Something swam away. Was that a freaking snake? Mona leaves next week. She's gone to Perth and we're gonna split. Kinda sad. But we're gonna meet maybe within like two years. Hopefully. Hmm? And then I'm and I'm leaving to Bali next Sunday. What is that swim? What is it? That's fish. just fish throw itself <laughs> out of the water. That is really, I don't know if my camera is catching that. It's coming towards us, you know? I'm very confused about what's happening. And there's a pelican over there. As I said before, that I'm leaving on a Sunday to Bali. And yeah, so today we're just enjoying this beautiful day. It was raining half of the day and we literally spent it at home. Oh, somebody's fishing over there. So today we decided to get outside a little bit and we're meeting a friend. Toby's flying in today and I'm excited to meet him. She, she doesn't know him yet, but today she's gonna meet him. So I'm excited to see Toby. We're gonna hang out at, at PJ's, yeah. And then we'll shoot. Oh, just bridges. There's the mountains over there. And I love this weather. I'm like really enjoying it right now. Okay, bye. Hello dear vlog. So today we went to Palm Cove probably for the last time before we leave Australia and it's a little bit sad but the weather is really nice right now. It's been raining for the last week here in Cairns however we kind of like got this one beautiful day and got here and it's awesome. I didn't really bring anything to swim in as it is kind of quite cold I would say. The water. There's 
probably stingers. I'm so happy that we got here. I love Bangkok. I love it. It usually been a really good weather. Mona's over there. I went shopping a little bit. Little souvenirs that I got from my friends and family back home. So I'm really happy about that. And yeah, just enjoying the weather right now. Especially I feel at peace when I'm at the beach. I feel really happy. And I'm kind of sad that I have to leave all this and go. I wish I could find a good job here, but I couldn't. So unfortunately I have to go back to Chicago. I'm excited to go to Chicago, but I'm, I'm actually not really quite ready to leave Australia, to be honest. I, I, I wish I could stay longer. So I wish things were different. But I guess everything happens for a reason and I'll be back. I am looking forward to Bali though, because I'm gonna go to Bali. I'm gonna, um, gonna become a yoga instructor, which is super exciting. I know that it's gonna be challenging, however, I'm ready for the challenge. So right now we're just gonna enjoy a little bit of this, and then we're gonna go to our awesome cafe that I love over here. It's called Chill Cafe. After that, we're gonna go to maybe the pier over there. I don't know if you can see, it's there and we're just gonna walk around some more. And yeah, Mona's leaving tomorrow. I'm leaving on a Sunday. Still got a week to go, and I'm, I wanna enjoy every minute of that. So even if it's raining, I'm gonna be going outside. But because of the rain, it didn't really seem like it's gonna um, be possible for us to be here, but we kind of like seen this one opportunity and we jumped on the bus and we just got here because it's an hour drive from where we live. Anyway, I hope you can hear me because in Australia. So we're waiting for our mochas and then maybe I'll convince her to go to Pete's place for some Asian cheats because I'm hungry. And she's not. She had a lot of freaking oats today. I'm really happy that we got here though. It's a nice trip. It's raining in Cairns right now. I just felt something on my forehead like right here. other stuff, not mangas. Let's try it. It's really good. And I need I need some calories right now because I'm hungry. I decided to go to um, Pete's place in Panko where we got fish and chips. And she got chips. I'm excited. It's my last bed meal. Are you excited for your chips? Yeah. Like they charged me for ketchup. They did? They to. Today is the last day when she leaves and we decided to go to Waffle Island. We decided to have breakfast and she has this black forest and I have a cappuccino and this classic breakfast thing. I'm really hungry so see ya. Like I'm, li so I'm literally gonna goals. send you, yeah. <laughs> Hashtag summer goals, <laughs> luxury <laughs> life. Oh my god. <laughs> so we are already done with our lunch, finally. Because we wanted to take a photo in front of this blue thing. Yeah. I'm gonna insert a photo like somewhere around here. <laughs> it was a struggle for Mona, it wasn't because I took a photo really quick. Waiting for like 10 minutes, the kids started playing and we couldn't. The kids went away for a second, we took the photo. We did it! So now we're just walking to the docks okay. and you leave it. Are you excited? Um, yeah, I am. A little bit, yeah. I'm not scared, but I'm like, uh, yeah. Something new again, like, it's like me leaving Melbourne, uh, leaving Sydney. I remember when you left uh, 
Sydney and you just literally messaged me that you were planning to go and then the next day she just messaged me I spontaneously decided to go to Melbourne and I'm in Melbourne right now oh yeah yeah <laughs> I was like oh my god girl yeah so like, it was nice I decided that very quickly you found yeah. an apartment really soon so that was cool oh yeah I was lucky with that one now we're coming closer to the docks we love this place we're always going here at night, yeah. At night. Yeah, I love this. And she's gonna send me a lot of photos from WA. I love that you Yeah, and I'm gonna send you a lot of photos from Bali. Next time, when we go somewhere, we can do like a cool trip. Asia, we should go to Asia together. When are we gonna meet again? In two um, years, we're planning? Well, I mean, yeah. Maybe that's gonna happen sooner or later, but Who knows? no more than two Depends years, I hope. Depends on how much money we make. <laughs> Zealand, right? New Zealand and Western Australia when I'm back. And I want to do Europe, so I'm going to go visit you. Yeah. So. I want to... Europe is amazing. I want yeah. to do you. Sweden. 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 Wait, is Eric in Sweden? Uh, he is from Sweden, but he lives in Switzerland. Oh, okay. Why do I know that? I don't know. He told you? <laughs> Over there. Okay. I love cats. It's amazing too. <laughs> We're going to make a you video on the East Coast. Can. So, and we're back. Bye. We made it to this beautiful view of this ship. got myself a boost but it's a vegemite boost it's like a new drink and i'm gonna try it right now it's okay we're shopping for tripods too it's a little like it's not horrible <laughs> i said the same thing a little bit salty anyway hi so we're gonna talk about our east coast troubles that we did not that long ago so we started from Cairns and we went down east coast. Yeah, to Byron Bay. So from Kent, we went to Magnetic Island. Yeah. Well, Townsville was the first stop and we took the ferry from Townsville to Magnetic Island. We stayed there a whole day for two nights. What was the most memorable thing for you in Magnetic Island? I think the best thing about Magnetic was the hike, the one koala, I don't remember the name though. It went up like a hill, I think. Mm -hmm. And you could just watch the sunset go down, which was pretty awesome and you could see all the bays that we went to before and I think that was the best thing and I really enjoyed that. I remember that we woke up at 8 in the morning, Yeah. we had breakfast and then we started walking so there's an option for you to take a bus but or rent a car or rent a car I, that's what pretty much yeah, people do. We just didn't want to pay the money for that. So we literally just started walking and we were staying in Arcadia yeah. and we walked like eight hours, I was right. We walked to all the bays from south to north. The it's beautiful. Horseshoe Bay was the big one. Then we took the bus, and then it was this hike. The, the koala one. The it affords hike. Fort? The fort. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my god, it's just amazing. Cool. The view was be beautiful. And if you're lucky, you see koalas. Koalas and we snakes, yeah. death adders. And what was amazing about happy. it too? I loved that we were just walking, walking, walking. We got tired. And we were sleeping on the beach a little yeah. bit. We got up and started walking again. It was, it was really fun. Yeah, but it was very hot sometimes. It too. was really hot. But it was still amazing. It was one of the best places we went to, yeah. in my opinion. And there's also, you can see wallabies, but we weren't really lucky with that either. And we were staying right by that yeah. place. We didn't really see Rocky. it. Uh, and also for me, I remember that uh, when we got there, um, we stayed really close to the beach. So in the morning when she was asleep, I would take my yoga mat and I would run to the other side because it was like right across the street, the ocean. So I would just have my yoga in the morning, which was amazing. I loved it. Yeah. And after that, we went to where? Uh, Ellie Beach. We got there in the evening and then the next day we did the skydive. <laughs> oh, we did the skydive, <laughs> yeah. It was 6.30 that we left the hostel. I walked over to the skydive place where we signed all that stuff. And then yeah, they picked us up. We drove to Bowen. Bowen? Bowen? Yeah. And then at 10, I think around 10, we were in the plane. Which was amazing. We have a video, so it's only basically I have her in my video and she has me in yeah. her video, so it's basically us. 
and it was super amazing. We were not really scared. Yeah, the best experience. I want to go again. Very, like the whole thing was a great experience. Amazing. And then we went back, and then we went to this amazing place in Early Beach. It was like this smoothie place. I don't remember. I think the health bar or something. Amazing people. We got this off the menu green. Uh, detox drink and the place that we were staying is amazing too. It was really chill and we would play the guitar. We got to early beach We uh, went skydiving and then we had a tour The wet Sunday tour. Wet Sunday tour, which was amazing. I am a very seasick person. So I bought a lot of um, <laughs> Tablets with me the tra the seasick tablets. I was taking them every four hours and we had a tour for two nights, two nights and yeah. three days yeah. So we were sleeping on a boat. It was That's awesome. Nice. Very, very Actually, relaxing. Yeah. yeah. We went snorkeling a few times. Yeah. I threw up only once. <laughs> but no, we, we had so much fun. I remember what I loved about it was that in the morning when I woke up, and I would wake up very like early, like at 7 or something, uh, I would go outside and everybody would be still pretty much asleep. And I would have that pretty much like very relaxing moment when there was nobody and I would be like, this is so beautiful. I was enjoying that. And the food was really nice and people were awesome. We made so many cool, awesome people. We met, we became friends with. Then we seen a lot of fishes. That's George. George. I almost puked on someone and then I pushed them off because I was like, don't you see that I'm throwing up? No, all these fishies are so much cooler. <laughs> yeah, he's like, ooh, get out. <laughs> and I'm like, go away. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. So then we went back and we moved to another place. And yeah, that was chill. Uh, I chill. wanted to come back. And then and then it was funny because we had a night pickup from Ugh. the bus. Yeah. We it had was to supposed go to pick us up at nine. And we, we decided to bring our bags closer to so we don't have to walk that much but it was like a weird kind of thing so we did yeah. walk a lot the bags carry was the worst to magnetic island oh my god we had to carry so much stuff with us well we always had the same amount of stuff that's true but that was the first time that i had to carry that physically and she would carry my stuff and her stuff i don't know how she and could i had a backpack she only had like a sports yeah adidas bag yeah i don't i don't know how you handled it <laughs> i looked at you and you're like it's okay <laughs> i'll have that i'll handle all of that I just wanna go to bed. Like, that was that wasn't well. That motivated me. <laughs> you wanted to go In to Ali bed. Beach, I remember I took almost all of your stuff. You did. You were you were yeah. like a boss. She's like, I'ma help you. Okay, I'm doing this. Now. Yeah. And then we moved. What was it? Oh, 1770. It was the overnight bus. Okay, that was awesome too. Yeah. We loved the buses. Like the I bus rides. Slept. She I slept, slept. I didn't. I, slept. I was like that, like a, an owl. I was getting out on every stop. Nobody else was going out of the bus, just me. I was going out, I was stretching. Then this man was on the bus, that was weird. I woke up and I saw that guy looking at her all the time. I was like, what the heck is he doing? He gave me like a um, Australian, he was Australian. So he gave me this Australian energetic drink in the morning. It was really nice, but. Was it just an energy drink? No, it was, I mean, it was a nice gesture for him to share. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's kind of strange. He just I watched that. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was, was watching, like... it. and then we went to 7070. That was my 70. first time. Mm -hmm. We were staying in this place that I was like, she was okay with it. I was like a little picky. We had too many rules, and I was like, Ugh. I mean, what was the best part about? I think it was a little bit hippie, and mm. who needs internet? And like, it like, doesn't matter, just chill and stuff. So it was okay. Which I'm, which I'm all for, but it's just like inconvenient sometimes. Because we were really tired at that point. We were going to bed really early. And they wanted us to like go downstairs and we didn't want to go downstairs for the Wi-Fi. I think at that stage, for me, it was like a middle of our travels. And I got really tired or... I don't know. Mm, in the middle. It was just... It was just... After the one tour and the skydive, we knew, okay, we have like Treasure Island and then kind of it all depends on us what we do that's that was my feeling so and also i got kind of sick of moving and taking that's what i'm saying i was like that I was the change agnes water it was the 
first time I had the feeling I don't want to talk anymore. This sucks. <laughs> yeah. But the best thing for me was me trying to surf for the first time, which was fun. It was so hard to carry those surfboards from the up. She didn't. She didn't go with no, me. I chilled. Yeah, but I, like, I decided to jump on that because seventy seventy is known for yeah. surfing. Yeah, it has the cheapest surf lessons. For, yeah, so that's pretty cool. We went with a group of people. We were carrying our surfboards. Were you doing the same thing? Me, I was carrying two boards and then a guy behind me or a girl. Yeah, yeah. And we were like walking yeah, straight. We and it was such a long walk and it was downhill and then uphill afterwards. I never liked after doing that. That is I the worst it. part. And it was fun. We learned how to do that. We were all standing in one line. It would help us. It was like a cool experience. I would love to yeah. try it again on my own without the help. That would be pretty cool. She did a whole thing. Five days surfing. Surf camps. Interesting. It's a lot of surfing. Yeah. A lot of nose diving. Nose diving is like when you fail. Like when you just fall into the water. And then that's me. The thing is, they missed all the footage. Everything is gone. That was 7070. And then we moved to. It was Rainbow Beach. Which was pretty cool. I really liked it. We booked the Fraser Island tour. It was my personal favorite, to be honest. Fraser Island. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I loved it too. And my From, I loved Rainbow Beach too. We had a, like a little chill day. We went to the cafe. We had some coffee. Yeah. We had some pastry. That's where it all went downhill. Yeah. Um, I think so. That's when it all started. I think it all started after the guys left. <laughs> We're gonna cut it out. But it all started when the guys left. Yeah, but freaking we peanut in, butter. We stopped in the magnetic. We were like, okay, the peanut butter we're gonna leave behind, and that was it. In Ali Beach, we didn't. Okay, we, we went to McDonald's. We let a lot of stuff in. And then we spent the night there, and then, then we went to Fraser, and it was amazing because we would start our tour from the from the hostel where we were staying, yeah. and the tour consisted of us driving a lot, which I love, and we had. I could always sit in the front because she was driving. We had five drivers, and I was driving the most. I was driving the first full day and last full day and we had three days in general it was the best thing for me because i haven't driven at that point in three months and and i love driving so for me like oh i need to drive and she wasn't good driving i have to say that okay. at the beginning i was like oh my god but it wasn't her driving it was more the, the road because we really bumpy we literally drove through a forest mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And that was the worst thing because I was like, oh my god, I'm getting like. I was getting sick too. Yeah, I was getting sick too. And it was awesome because like I've never driven on a sand before, so that's what yeah. that's what Fraser Island is. You're driving by the by the shore on a sand, yeah. and it's that's, pretty amazing. That's probably why I liked it so much. And it's so beautiful. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, yeah. And then we had our first Australian camping experience. Oh, yeah. We would slept I in I would tents. Hate it. But I, I loved I, it. I had a good time. It like was I'm, amazing. Because I thought, like, before I got here, I was like, I'm not going to be camping. I hate really? camping. Yeah, I hate camping. You still don't and like Back it? in Germany, we did that a few times. I always hated it because you I could never me. sleep. But in Fraser Island, I slept like a baby. Like from 10 to 6, 7. <laughs> we were sleeping, like, from not even from 10, we even from early. We, it, we would Yeah. No, we wouldn't drink. On yeah. Fraser because we didn't want to buy anything. Yeah, we yeah, were true. very lazy. Like, uh, then David was like, "Do you want something?" Yeah, yeah. I think did I drink with him a little? A little bit from from they gave us something so we had the taste of yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, "Okay, we like food." Okay, we had like a whole scheduled program that we oh. did. So we were driving and then we went back home. We had dinner and we would cook ourselves too. And then we would have the dunes, which was that amazing. That was the best. Yeah, the best things. it looks Sporting. so awesome. Yeah. My epic fall <laughs> it was cracking us up. That was the best. It was fun. It was a lot of laughter and a lot of cool stuff. The sunset was nice too. Beautiful. And they had a lot of dingoes. Yes, a lot. And <laughs> you're like a sitting lot. there. A lot. Yes. <laughs> we were told is that you cannot approach them. They're wild animals. They can attack you, and they're very territorial. So the tour guide told us that he's seen dingoes fight with each other, so they really like to be. Well, I'm an alpha. So yeah. So they told us not to come yeah. close to them, yeah. even though they look cute. And we had dingo stick to like, whoosh, yeah. 
go away, go away. We met a lot of friends. We, we had hikes there too. None of our friends seen sharks, which is awesome, but we didn't. Robert, he's seen a shark. Oh, yeah, yeah, shark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we mm. missed out on that one too. After that, we went to Lusa. Oh, I love Lusa. Lusa was one of the best places too. Yeah, just the vibe was like fit. Fit, yeah, healthy, fit. Kind of like you want to do sports. Like, I would love to live there, to be honest. I loved the coastal walk when we did yeah. the walk. This is why I'm freaking in love in Australia. Yeah. Every time we go to these places, every beach is still different. Like it's a little bit different in a way. So you kind of feel it when you're there. All these little walks, all these little trees, and like it's beautiful, like magnificent. I love it. We did spend there like a day only. We wish we had more time. It was my fault. That's okay. I mean, we'll come back one day. I, we booked the hostel too late and then it was too expensive the one that I chose. And then we went there. That, and I didn't want to spend too much money on that expensive hostel. And I was like, okay, let's spend more time in Brisbane then. But then we wanted to stay longer, but it was booked out. So and that hostel was amazing, good. wasn't it? The hostel was nice. Yeah. It was like it was a little nice. resort. It was really good. They yeah. had a shuttle too, so we could always go to the city and the supermarket. It was nice. It was and we good. tried to surf there. We tried. We, we brought shooting. our boards. We got a whole shooting. Yep. We brought our boards with us. We go there and it's like flat. <laughs> so we're like, you know, I missed out my footage in 7070, so let's just take photos with boards. That we went to Brisbane. Love the city. Not much to say actually. The city was nice. We spent way much time than was necessary. Yeah, we should have spent more in Nusa, yeah. I would think. We went to the Mount Kuta. That was nice. We had a, we had a good view over the city. And then just chilling in the city and going to Max Brenner's and stuffing ourselves with chocolate. So tell me more about Max Brenner. And Starbucks. We went to Starbucks. We went to Starbucks way too many times. We had a well in Max Brenner's. It was recommended to us in Nusa by two girls in the shop. And they said we had to go there to Max Brenner's and we ordered a chocolate pizza. Which was amazing. What else did we order? And then the order? next day we decided to go again. And we got the chocolate fondue. It was with strawberries, bread, marshmallows, bread? and bananas. They had bread in there too? I think so, yeah. Oh my god. Um, it was yeah, delicious. And then white, um, no, milk chocolate and dark chocolate. Hashtag no regrets. Hashtag it, it was, was amazing. Yeah, it was. We did a lot of shopping and we did a lot of like walks and stuff. We had like a little a city. We took the ferry. That was nice. We missed one ferry one day, and yeah. then the next day we and went. We, and we instead, had we decided to go to Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> when we missed the ferry. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And then we wanted to go to that one spot, Kangaroo Point. It was, it was beautiful. That was pretty cool, chilling there and just see how everything goes dark and the lights of the buildings go on. That was, that nice. was nice. Then we took the ferry and went to that bar where we had oh, yeah. to we... love Brisbane. Yeah. It made me feel nice. So after Brisbane, we went to Surface Burgers. I love but it. But the beach. It's amazing. Like the best water in Australia for me personally. Because it wasn't too salty. It was like the yeah. like you want to swim. We were jumping in the water yeah. and we were tanning. We were lucky we had that um, live concert festival for free. So It was really close to beach. the girl that sang. Like It was, she was amazing. Was she was cool. like a very talented person i don't even know her name but it was amazing like i was standing there astonished and those are australian locals yeah. mm -hmm. went to that building point q1 we had dinner ish we shared a kids menu meal i remember that guy i was like i ordered it how big is it he's like oh, it's little it was it was pretty it was okay it was pretty okay yeah and we watched the sunset we went during a good time and the hostel was amazing that was pretty cool. Like it was a little bit pri more private, because yeah. Yeah. I like like that one. And then Miha came in, yeah. and what did he say? Yeah. Well, we had a little mess there. You know, <laughs> I had. I did. <laughs> Miha comes in, and there's this one man that was staying with us, and he had this like little cute suitcase, and everything was very very neat. And Miha comes in. He looks at that. Is that yours? And then we're like, no. And we showing him our thing and it was like a bomb it was yeah. it was so funny we started laughing yeah we had to check out the next day so he was like well have fun tomorrow i'm like i'm used to packing already i can do that in 10 minutes oh that was fun because 
<laughs> when we had to take out I <laughs> you took fell. the pillow yeah, I, I had to take off the pillowcase she was gone I think no one was in the room she took the pillowcase uh, I took the pillowcases off and I had my backpack on my back and I wanted to take the pillowcases and one fell out of my arms Yeah. and I wanted to grab it and then my backpack pulled me back <laughs> and I was falling on my back like a turtle and I was like <laughs> How did you get up? pulled me up. (laughs) Pulled yourself up? Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, I'm sure that they have cameras there. I wish they had a footage. That would have been so funny. Then we moved to Byron. It's really nice. It was beautiful. Yeah, she had her birthday. I had my birthday. Oh my god. We had a good room because they had a bathroom with a bathtub. And I had a spa day before my birthday. And then the next day was her birthday. And I remember I woke up before i always wake up at like 7 or 6 30 or something i woke up at 8 but i woke up before you yeah i know my parents were wishing me happy birthday i remember i was on skype with my mom and we had um the sea right across the road from us yeah and then i wanted to show her a little bit of a the view i went over there my skype connection kind of cut off so i just like shut it off and i just went Mm -hmm. and i was spent a couple of minutes like breathing it in like oh my god i'm so happy we went back and then we started getting ready and we had a really nice like morning the beginning was really nice okay we started in the acai place then because it was also cinco de mayo and they had a very very good deal in mexican place yeah. so, we had a mexican bowl which was also very healthy it was okay for a first yeah. day we had a, the, the fish the fish was good five dollar mexican bowl good one and then we went yeah. to the little live concert. They always have live yes. concerts in Byron Bay. Very nice. I love it. It was just like such a chill vibe in Byron Bay. A little bit hippie. Yeah. Like everyone says that, but it's true. Yeah. It's just no one really cares. That's true. Just live your life. Be happy. And it's just very like peaceful, I guess. Yeah. They, they're very for yoga. We but... went also partying and stuff. Oh, we and went to a club. Yeah. Which was It was. Shit. It was funny though because I was walking around with the little happy birthday oh, yeah. hat. It was so that cool. Was cute. Everybody would wish me happy birthday. And what else did we do? We went to the lighthouse in Byron Bay. It was yeah, a nice well, walk it was, back. And it was raining for three days. We went to the um, lighthouse. We walked. We had a whole walk, or sh- she planned a whole walk to that one mm-hmm. secret beach. Was it a secret beach? There weren't that many people at all. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. I was so much fun. I did yoga on the beach. She was just going through stuff. Oh, I just looked. Like I sat there and thought about life. life. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, <laughs> beach, yoga. She was doing like some of the deals. And then I remember I was sitting and I was also like reflecting on my life on my camera and that I just feel this water coming through. And I just looked down and there's water everywhere. I drop like I grabbed my camera. I have it on the video too, it's so mm-hmm. funny. The next day we had a, we took a bus to, to Gold, Gold Coast. Coast then, yeah. Flew in to Kent's. And then so Yeah, we're we had here. We're trying to find jobs first. Same had a very chill day. Not a day, but like a month or two. <laughs> we went to Kuranda here. We explored Kent's really explored it almost two months later we're sitting here now and she's leaving today i'm leaving in she's leaving in 10 minutes to (laughs) western australia yeah and i'm very excited for and i'm gonna go to bali on a sunday and i'm gonna be packing today so that's exciting too everything packed okay okay now we're gonna enjoy the 10 less minutes that we have (sighs) yeah bye i'm on a mission today couldn't really sleep all night, so yesterday Mono flew for Western Australia and we split and it was very dramatic. Ooh, I miss her already. It was really loud, people were talking out outside till like 5 in the morning and I couldn't sleep till 5 in the morning, which I'm pretty quick to fall asleep at the moment. How is that? I'm leaving to Bali on Sunday, so I have some errands to run because I'm leaving Australia and I do have a card, so I have to close my uh, account before I send these little cards. 
sending these two babies back home before I leave for my mom and my dad. I hope they get it. So plan for the day is I'm gonna go uh, give those cards away. I'm gonna go to the store, get some souvenirs. I already packed yesterday. I wanted to do a video on packing, but I just packed. After Mona left, I was like, I need to pack. I think I'm gonna go back, have my lunch, chill a little bit, and then I'm gonna get my book and I'm gonna go to the lagoon. And then at night, I'm gonna do some yoga. So that's exciting.